Okay, but first I would like to practice this part. Can you see my screen? Nope. Not yet. Okay, I'll share my screen again. One second, it's here. I'm recording, yes I am. Okay, so now I think you can. Do you remember this part, Denise? You finished with this uh, grammar, the past progressive, the simple past, and the past perfect. Did we finish it? Mm, yes. Ah, we're done with that part. So we can continue. Uh, we can do a review. review. We can do a review. Okay, so let me do this super quickly. Okay, can you see my whiteboard? Can you see my whiteboard? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, guys, you know that the past simple, we use the past simple when we want to talk about an action that is started in the past and it is completed, right? Yes. Then we have the past progressive or past continuous. The past continuous or the past progressive is an action that is started in the past, okay, and was happening at that point. For example, for example, now it's like, what time is it? It's like 50, okay, no. 5, 3, if I'm not mistaken, okay? So you can say, yesterday I was playing soccer at... 503. This action was happening in the past at this point, but in the past. Did you understand? Mm -hmm. Yes. You got it, mm -hmm. Denise? You got the past progressive? Yep. Nope. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Is that past, past continuous? continuous? Yeah, this is the past continuous or past progressive. It's an action that was in progress. For example, now I am talking to you. So maybe tomorrow I say, well, yesterday I was talking to you at this time. At this time, at this moment, I was talking to you. An action that was in progress at this point in the past. Did you understand? Yes. Yeah. Good. And then we have here the past perfect. The past perfect is the past of the past. For example, for example... I say, I went to, to the party, I bought a gift, I bought a gift, and I went to the party. So you can say, I had bought a gift, and then I went to the party. Is that okay? Look at this. Remember, the past perfect, an action that happened first in the past. I had bought a gift and then I went to the party yesterday. Yo había comprado un regalo y luego fui a la fiesta ayer. ¿Qué pasó primero? That you, you bought a gift, right? So you use the past perfect with the action that happened first in the past. Did you understand this part? Yes. Pretty good. Pretty good. So now that you know when we use it, we are going to combine the past. Okay? But now focus on this. You know the past simple action that happened in the past and is completed. Done. Past progressive action that was in progress at some point in the past. Completed. The past perfect is an action that happened before another but in the past. Completed. So now we are going to combine. We can use the past simple and the past progressive. We can use the past simple and the past progressive. How, how can we use that? Well, it's super simple. Remember, we have that when clause and the while clause. While, mientras, when, cuando. Easy peasy. So remember, while I was watching TV, comma, someone knocked the door. 
So I was watching TV and then someone knocked the door. Which one interrupt another one? Which one interrupt an action? Which? The Which? Uh, or someone. The, the simple pass interrupt. Because you were watching TV and then someone knocked the door and then action interrupt the first action. So you can say, well, I was watching TV. Someone knocked the door. Or... You can say, someone knocked the door while I was Which? watching TV. But what is the difference here? That when you start with a while word, you have to use the comma here. But if not, it is not necessary to just write directly. Did you understand? Oh, okay, okay. We use comma when I use the past progressive, progressive before and no use when it's past, no? Yes. You use comma when you start with while. Simple like that. In this case, you don't have, you have while in the middle, so you don't need to, you don't need to use a comma. You got it right now? Mm -hmm. For example, I was cooking, uh, I was cooking while, while my mom was sleeping. Look at the sentence. Which one in which sentence interrupt another? Which one? Teacher, question. Uh, yeah, I, I, I will, uh, I will use, for example, when. Um, um, how do you say instead of instead of while yes you can use what you can use when and while but but first we're working with while then we work with when and then you can see the differences between these two words okay mm -hmm. okay slow okay. down slow down so look at this sentence i was cooking while my mom was sleeping which sentence interrupt another or None of them. None of them. None of them because both sentences were happening at the same time. So I'm cooking and my mom is sleeping. Both sentences are happening at the same time. But in this case, we're happening at that point in the past. So how can we say here, we start with while, you can choose whatever, whatever. You can say, well, I was cooking. My mom was sleeping. Is that okay, that sentence? Is that okay? No. We, we need to use a comma. Pretty good. Okay? Look at this. While I was watching TV, someone knocked the door. Someone knocked the door while I was watching TV. Easy peasy. But now, the question. Look at this. I was studying when my mom... Call me. Which sentence interrupt another? Interrupt. And um, none of them. The past simple. Look at this. I was studying when my mom called me. My mom, my mom called me. I was studying when my mom called me. So what does it mean? When you were doing this action, this happens. This, mm -hmm. interrupt this. But can you notice something? Can you mm -hmm. see that when you use while, when you use while, you use the present pro? Progressive. And ah, when you, the past okay. progressive. And when you use when, you use the past? Simple. And also, when you use while, you can use past progressive, past okay. progressive. Yes. Mm. Okay. Did you understand this part? Mm. Yeah. So, Carlos, so, yeah. yes, we use the past symbol and the past progressive together. Why? Because the past progressive gives the context, gives the background to my story, which is in the past.
For example, I want to say I went to the party, I met some friends, and I had fun. So you can say, when I went to the party, my mom was at my house. Then, when I got to the party, while my mom was uh, watching TV, I was dancing. And you can continue. You give background extra information with the past progressive. Did you understand that part? Mm, yeah. So, every time you want to give information, you want to give background, you want to give extra ideas about something that you are telling someone, you have to use the past progressive. Any questions before I clean this part? Nope. Good. Next. Okay. So, look at this part. I went to Brazil, okay, I went to Brazil, I met Maria, this was, it, it, this happened in 2007, in 2009, I went to the UK, and I visited, and I visited uh, the the Big Ben Tower, the Big Ben Tower, and in twenty twelve, I went to the U S. and I met my friend Kenny. So in this case, which sentences, which situation happened in the past? All of. All of, all of them, because they happen in the past and they are completed because now we are living in 2022. But all of them happen in the past. But there is one situation that happened first before all of them. Which one? Mm, the location. This one in 2007, right? Because this happened first, this previous, right? Or not? Yeah, this happened first, this happened second, this happened third. So you can say, I had gone to, to Brazil. Brazil before I visited, uh -huh. before the, I visited the, UK. the UK, maybe, the UK. You know, both sentences happen in the past. But this one happened first. So remember, when you want to talk about an action that happened in the past before another, you use the past perfect. So I had gone to Brazil before I visited the UK. Yo había ido a Brasil antes de que yo visitara los el Reino Unido. O visitase. Ok. No vayas a traducir como antes de que yo visité. No, antes de que yo visitase. Did you understand? Mm. Así se traduce al momento de combinarla con el past perfect. Remember, past perfect, the first action. An action that happened before another, but in the past. You got it? Any questions up to this point? Can I use when? Uh, visited the UK. Yeah, of course, you can use when. The, the verb, uh, it is irrelevant. No, when. No, when. When. I have gone to Brazil. When. Ah, I visited when, I, when I visited the, the UK. You have been to visitar. Nope. Tienes que, cuando dices when, dice cuando. Tiene que pasar algo en ese momento. When I was sick. Si tú dices when I was sick. Recuerda, sigues usando el pasado, porque luego del when, va simple. En ese momento tú estabas enfermo, pero habías visitado cuando en ese momento estabas enfermo. You can say, while I was sick. Mientras yo estaba enfermo. Aquí no tiene nada que ver lo que vimos con el past progressive. ¿Ok? Lo único que tiene que ver es que si usas dos oraciones en el pasado y una ocurre antes que la otra, la primera va a usar el past perfect. ¿Ok? Yes or not? Did you understand that part? 
No, you can use whatever word, whatever word you want. The main point here is that you need to understand that you use the past perfect with the action that happened first. Yeah, okay. I understood that. You understood what about you, Jimmy? Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's okay. So now we're going to practice, okay? Just give me a second. Okay, what was your question? Uh, it's correct to say it has opened. It has opened. Yeah, it, had op it has opened means ha abierto. Este es fue abierto. Ah, okay. Oh, maybe Dennis is not here. I'll send the link again. Maybe she's waiting for us. Okay, so I was saying that the answer is going, going, San Francisco to in the, in the U.S. of California, it was opened for use when ah, the, use. para el uso okay. fue aperturado para uso en, o para que se use en 1937, that bridge, muy bien, aquí, the bridge was finished. It's length of made it. It's uh, the longest bridge of the world. There is also a food path. Food path. Uh, que significa sidewalk. Es como decir vereda. Yeah. Sidewalk or, yes, pavimento, footpath. O sendero. Para las personas y las bicicletas. Any questions up to this point? Mm, to me, no. What about you, Denise? Mm, no. Is, is, is that okay, right? Well, uh, ¿saben por qué es going? Sure. Ir de San Francisco a Marin County. Mm, okay, let's go here. Let me explain this. You know that, for example, we have uh, the book which the book which is uh, written in English is pretty famous. You know that you, we have witches because it is an object, right? Yeah, or you can say the students were in this class are from the are from Peru. Yep. Can you see my screen? Can you see the whiteboard? Yeah. So, guys, do you, do you remember this grammar? The book, which is brilliant in English, is pretty famous, and the students who are in this class are from Peru. Uh, this is because we use which for objects and we use who for people. Do you remember? Um, okay, Re replace with. Uh... Yes, of course, you can use instead of which and who you can use. Denise, do you remember? Yes. Which one? What can we use instead of who and which? That. Amazing. But remember that that is informal, right? Uh-huh. Yes. Uh, when you have this uh, adjective, uh, relative pronoun here, like which and who or that, you can omit when you have the verb be. Pound, pound. You can say the book written. Right. Britain in English is pretty. It's pretty famous. Or I'm not recording. Recording? I don't think so. Yes, I was recording. Next, you can say the student in in this class are from Peru. You got this part? 
Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So have, have you seen this movie like with Will Smith and they kill like UFOs and the aliens, they combat with aliens, you know? Mm. Men in? No. <laughs> Men in Black. Have you ever watched that movie? Yeah. Yeah, this is like men. Men who are wearing... Wearing black. <laughs> in black. Carlos, but this is not the part. Be sure. Look at this part. Uh, did you understand this? the first part, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah now mm -hmm. look at the second one. So you can say, yeah, the people who live in Peru are very friendly. Now, before we continue, guys, in this case, after... Which, who, or that, what do we have? We have the verb, the verb be, right? Yes? When you have the verb be, you can omit it. You can omit it. Yes? But when you have this, the verb be, is that the verb be? Mm -mm. Uh, Present continuous. Sure, so you say, the, the people, people live in, in Peru. Are very friendly. Yes. So this is a man who wears. Sorry, man who wear in black. This is called man, man in, in black. Men in black. This is the reason that we call hombres de negro men in black. Men who wear in black. Hombres que visten de negro. Y esa es la razón por la que se dice Men in Black. Did you understand Denise and Jimmy? Mm -hmm. So, look at the example here. You have here, the Golden Gate is a suspension bridge that crosses over San Francisco, which goes from, which goes from San Francisco to Marin County. Goes from, aquí tendría que ser goes from, right? Which goes, pero ese which goes lo elimino y lo pongo en ING. Going from San Francisco to Marin County. In the Marin County, which is in the US, elimino el which is in the US. ¿Se entiende ahora sí un poquito mejor, Denise and Jimmy? Did you understand the point? Yeah. <laughs> it was uh, it, Denise, what about you? I cannot listen to you. Did you understand? Yeah. Amazing. Remember, if you have any questions, you can tell me, Carlos. I'm lost. What is footpath? Do you know the footpath? Sidewalks. The sidewalk. Puede ser veredas. Pavement. Pavement. Pero pavement. You know, it could be pavement, sidewalk. Sidewalk, el footpath. Ese es un camino también que es por donde van las bicicletas. Y van las personas al mismo tiempo. ¿No se han visto el Golden Bridge? Que hay como unos caminos por los costados. Mm -hmm. Ese también es un footpath. Yep. También un footpath lo encontramos en, en los woods. Los woods son como bosques, chakras, y hay unos caminos que son creados por las personas, los redneck. Redneck son campesinos. Uh -huh. Redneck. ¿Ok? Um, que son creados por ellos mismos para que vayan en sus rutas en los bicycles. So, ellos crean sus footpaths. ¿Any questions? Antes de que continuemos el segundo ejercicio. No. Nope. ¿Cuántos errores tuvieron aquí, Denise? How many mistakes did you make? At least one, right? No, three. How many? Five. Five mistakes? Okay. What about you, Jimmy? Mm, three, four, five. Five. <laughs> five mistakes yes. again. Okay. Veamos ahora cómo les va en el siguiente. Ok, es listening. Van a escuchar tres veces un enunciado y van a escribirlo en el chat. Newspapers are supported primarily by the sale of advertising space. One more time. Yes, yes. A ver, voy a poner donde van a escuchar tres veces el mismo by the sale of advertising. Wait a minute, ok. Vamos a esperar un ratito. Empecemos. Newspapers are supported primarily by the sale of advertising space. Mm. 
Newspapers are supported primarily by the sale of advertising space. Newspapers are supported primarily by the sale of advertising space. Okay, please, are your answers? Newspapers are supported primarily by the sale. Oh, no, nah. what about you, Jimmy? Okay, supportingly, primarily, okay, before lunch. Esto fue lo que dijo. Nos ah, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> Primarily. Wow. Uh, Denise, te faltó una palabrita para que esté perfecto. By the sales. Oh. No, no, two, two mistakes. Advertisement. Advertising space. Ahora, ¿se dan cuenta que la persona no dijo supported, sino que hizo... Omitió la T o no? Sport. Supporters primarily by the sale of advertising space. Muy bien trabajo, muy buen trabajo. Next. Vemos la siguiente actividad. Van a tener que write one or more sentences that describe the image. So please, in the chat box, at least three sentences that describe the image. Okay, you have 50 seconds. In the chat box. Veamos aquí. Ok, Denise, what about you? What do you have? Ok, I'm going to show you a model. Les voy a enseñar un modelito aquí. Please, uh, Jimmy, read the. And my travel, you know, I'm in travel, so I want to sell my car and my thing has really worked. But that, that happened to you? Or in the description, are you okay? Mm? No, then you say, I'm in trouble. Someone is talking about I thought that I have to, to say that the guy would ah. say. <laughs> <laughs> I thought that someone is in your car. <laughs> no, ah, okay. No, no, no. no. I have, have to, to describe to... that. Yes. That image. yes. Okay. Do, do you remember that uh, we were practicing this kind of exercises with, with a simulation? Now we have to write oh, okay, it. Okay, okay, I got yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So now, please, uh, Jimmy, read the read the sand. The the the, the other man was feeling lots of well. Oh, nice. Jimmy, read. Okay. This photo shows a man uh, hitchhiking in it's a forest. In a forest. Uh, he is standing next to a bending road and holding his left hand out to grab drivers. Attention. Uh, the road is eerily eerie. quiet. So this is the answer that I expect. Yes, in this image shows a man alone in woods thinking about how to come. Nice. That the next that is a good example. Okay. So here you have more examples. Write one sentences. Les he preparado un set. Uh, esto se llama battery of questions. Las preguntas se, se cuentan por battery que vienen a ser una lista de preguntas para que ustedes puedan practicar también. Del mismo modo, les he puesto. ¿Se entiende los ejercicios que hemos visto, Jimmy y Denise? Yeah. Yeah. So, entonces, esto yo les he habilitado en la plataforma, pero me dicen que no tienen acceso, ¿cierto? Eh, no, no, no. I, I tried to find my, my, my account in my email, email, but yeah. I didn't receive uh, your email, teacher. No, I sent you through WhatsApp web. But ahorita les uh -huh. envío de nuevo, ahorita les envío de nuevo. One second. 
Ok, okay. so we're, we're going to stop here. Ya saben cómo tienen que practicar, ¿cierto? Sí. Les voy a compartir aquí antes de retirarnos. Me, me gusta mucho esta palabra, hat chicken. Uh, hat Wait, hacking is... Hiking es hacer mina, es senderismo, yes, you hike. Uh, hike. Uh -huh. And, hike. Es, es, es la acción de, también es cuando tirar dedo para que te jalen un carro uh, on, the, on, the, on the way, you know? ¿No has visto? Ah, ok, ah, ok, ok. Yes, entonces aquí estamos en una de las palabras que hemos visto, the motion, cruise, journalism, psychiatric, dwelling, vivienda, worthy, critique, critique something, relevant, call. Ustedes no veían esto cuando estaba compartiendo, ¿no? No. Yeah. Ah. I made a mistake. Call, habitat, ironing, eerily, siniestramente, bizarramente. The footpath, the pavement sidewalk, the footpath, ruta, paseo, suspension, resort. Hachaikin uh, es hacer autoestopismo, es cuando estás, te quedaste sin, estás yendo a un lugar pero no tienes dinero y alzas el dedo para que te puedan recoger, eso es hachaikin, uh, hachaikin, ¿ok? O lo se parece de you can hachaikin, pero es raro. En rough, que tiene que ver con el mar, y que tiene que ser olas grandes, big waves. ¿Ok? Les voy a compartir también este PDF. Y voy a habilitarles el acceso. Porque veo que no... A ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver, a ver. WhatsApp, web here. Mm -mm.